The focus of this lesson is on writing the equation of a circle in standard form, and we're starting off with equation that's just in general form. And so ultimately, in that case, you, you have to complete the square twice, once for the x's and once for the y's. That is how you get it in standard form. And from there, once it's in standard form, the center and the radius should be obvious. So this example says, find the center and radius of the circle, x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 2y minus 15 equals 0. So we're going to try to work on getting it in standard form. So that's our goal. So we're working towards standard form. So I'll put SF. So the first thing I would do is I would group all my x's together. So I have an x squared term, and then I have the minus 4x. I'd put those next to each other, leave a little space for my completing the square step, and then take my y pieces and put them next to each other. So I have plus y squared minus 2y. Leave a little space, and then I'm actually going to move my constant over that I had originally by adding 15 to both sides. And so you get 15 on the right. So it was minus 15 on the left, and now positive 15 on the right if you move it over. So then what this allows me to do is I can go through my completing the square steps. So if you need a refresher, you might want to watch a completing the square video. But you take half of your B term and you square it. So for the x part here, my b term is negative 4. So half of that would be negative 2. And then squaring that would be negative 2 times negative 2, which is a positive 4. So I'm adding in a positive 4 to complete the square for my x's. What I do to one side of the equation, I make sure to do to the other side. And then I repeat that process, but I do it for the y's. So the b part is that coefficient on your degree 1 term, so my b is negative 2, so half of b would be negative 1, and then if I square that, so negative 1 times negative 1, I get a positive 1. So I have added in positive 1 to the left hand side, I need to balance my equation and also add it to the right hand side. So ultimately, I've completed the x's, um, the square for the x's, and completed the squares for the y's. So that allows me to rewrite my equation now in a more uh, standard form. So that means I'm going to have a quantity squared plus a quantity squared equals a constant. Well, we can see that the constant is 15 plus 4 plus 1. So, which is 20. Who is being squared for this x part? Well, for the first term, x times x gives me x squared. So, that's the first part of my term here. And then who's being squared to give you a positive 4? Well, if you remember, we squared half of b. So, half of b was negative 2. So that's what goes here. For the y part, y squared comes from y being squared. And then who's being squared to get a positive 1? If you remember, it was your half of your b, so your minus 1. And if you need to check that, you could check x minus 2 and multiply it by itself, and take y minus 1 and multiply it by itself, and you would see that you would get, respectively, that x squared minus 4x plus 4, as well as the y squared minus 2y plus 1. So you are now in standard form. So the center and the radius basically comes from this. So again, remember your formula. Your center is who's being subtracted off from your x and y. So if you see here, from the x's, 2 is subtracted off. And from the y, 1 is subtracted off. So that's your center, your center is 2 comma 1. As far as your radius goes, notice your constant is always your radius squared. So my radius squared is 20. If I want my radius, I just need to take the square root. And um, since we're talking radius, normally this 
well, first off, if we take the square root, we normally get two solutions here. But since we're talking radius, we're only worried about the positive root because a radius is a distance, and so it can only be positive. So the square root of 20 would be, break this up into a perfect square. So square root of 4 times square root of 5, and the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 5. So that's your radius. So we have a center of 2, 1, and a radius of 2 squared to 5.